find your way to a comfortable position. It actually doesn't need to be sitting if you'd like to be reclining or lying down, possibly standing or even walking. That's fine, whatever you're called to. I'm going to guide uh, as if for sitting on the assumption that most of us will be sitting. And um, my intention in this sit tonight is to, um, at the close of day, you know, we're all coming to this after our busy time of activity into a quieter, more restful and sort of gathered in phase of the day. And what I'd like to be exploring very gently and only to the extent that each of you wants to, you know, is some sort of softening, loosening around our sense of identity. That's my little sort of soft target zone tonight. So let's start by coming into our bodies, sort of arriving in an embodied way right here. And, you know, often it will help to feel the seat, feel the feet. And for most of us, these two areas will be expressing most clearly our support by the great, wide, still earth beneath us. Just taking a moment to note that. The wide stillness holding us, supporting us. So let's feel the feet and the legs and the seat, the lower body. Maybe some sense of warmth, perhaps a very subtle tingle, just some signature of the body's presence in, in this lower half of the body. So rooted, deeply grounded, earthed. And then let's come into the hands, let them, let them be at rest, maybe in the lap, maybe on the thighs, wherever feels good for you. And let them be limp. And let's now feel how the upper body rises from the lower body. The, the grounded seat is right there, and from it, the spinal column, the stalk, like a lily stalk, rises all the way up the spine, into the neck, into the the skull, the cranium, the crown of the head. Allow the upper body to find its most comfortable alignment. Ideally, it's kind of self-supporting. The, the, the natural curves of the spine 
lend it a kind of in, intrinsic uh, self-supporting system. And then you feel free to explore a little bit and find where is the most comfortable spinal alignment for you, where you can feel the the head resting between the hips, arms limp, slack. Let the throat be soft. You might explore allowing the chest to come forward just a, a hair, maybe a quarter of an inch or something, just enough to have a sense of slight opening in the front of the body. One of my teachers, uh, Roshi Joan Halifax, would always say, it's a strong back of body, soft and open front. You might just explore that. Shoulders back a teeny, an eighth of an inch. Opening the chest just a tiny bit. And letting it all float over the seat. No effort. Chest warm. Soft. Diaphragm warm and soft. Belly likewise. Hips also warm and soft. And legs and feet. giving ourselves this beautiful time of rest at the end of the day, more or less between day and night. Let yourself listen. Maybe there's a sense of the, you know, the whole world being a bit quieter. Either if you're in time zone where indeed it's time of rest coming, or even if you're in a time zone where it's morning, our very stillness, our quiet presence can open us up to a sense that the world has a quietness. Underneath all the turbulence, you know, the disturbances, underneath there's a, a peacefulness somehow. And we're, we're fully allowed to tap into that. So allow yourself to kind of soften, become a little more porous, 
and latter kind of, I want to say pervasive peace or peacefulness. Let it sort of seep in if it wants to. And if you want to let it to, let it do so. Can, sometimes it can kind of flow in like a gentle tide. A peace and a quietness. It can be as if we, we sort of bring ourselves to a slightly quieter state, a more still state. And in doing so, we sometimes, it, it, sometimes it feels as if we then get met by a broader quiet. As if our own quiet invites in a wider quiet. And I, I want to just add that this doesn't mean we won't have any emotional tone. There might be some emotional tone as well. And actually, it's, we, we want to fully allow that. It's not incompatible. We can, we can taste the wider peace and quiet, and it can hold and embrace and allow and sort of bathe any emotional tone we might have, even sometimes kind of wash through it gently. So please don't feel you have to suppress some feeling that that isn't uh, wanted here, not at all. Let the, if you're getting a sense of this wider quiet, let it, let it carry you and let it carry whatever you're carrying. Let it sort of relieve you. Let it take the burden off your shoulders. And do the meditation for you. And do, in a certain sense, do your life for you. Just for this portion of time.
resting. Kind of suspended. And we're, we're allowed to hit pause. Just allow the, you know, the agendas and activities and projects and so on, allow them to recede. I didn't even feel them sort of drifting away. We're granted this uh, this time to to really sort of release being who we are, who we think we are during our busy activity time. And in this time of rest, stillness, quiet, we're allowed to let that go. Soften around all of that. Loosen it. You know, untie the, the painter, a little rope that keeps the boat attached to the dockside. Untie it. Allow yourself to drift out onto the beautiful lake. No, we'll, we'll all be coming back, it's okay. But just for now, let yourself be carried. Drift. Really no intention. Gently releasing the need to know But it's okay to drift a little bit into the, the margins of the land of not knowing. It's okay. And at any time, if uh, the guidance I'm offering isn't, isn't comfortable for you, please uh, tune, tune me out and come back to Awareness of seat, awareness of body. If you're curious, just um, see what it's like to keep releasing, drifting, sort of uh, shucking off the, the identity. Like a, I guess like a cicada coming out of its old known shell, carapace, sort of 
or like a snake coming out of its old skin, something new. But we don't know. Opening to the possibility we don't need to know. Free for a little spell from identity. Just kind of bare being. That we can rest in and we can rest as It's okay for meditation to be really a time of release. Slipping loose from the ordinary bonds of our identity. Undoing the buttons of the shirt of who we are, you know, who we think we are, giving ourselves a break from it. Resting in bare being. Maybe even without a name. Sometimes called um signlessness aimless signless rest Almost, it's in a way, so we could almost call it a, a rest from the project of being human. Almost like that. And again, if anything I offer is uncomfortable for or, or brings up some uncomfortableness, please, you know, tune it out and come back to your own body, your own experience, resting in, in you and your way 
and your needs and your being. and listening to the quiet. Feeling the quiet in, within you and around you. Resting in the quiet. Right. Uh, see what it's like to bring a little smile into the face. Just a half smile. Quarter smile. See if you can detect any effect on in your body when you have a little bit of a smile on your face. May all beings be safe. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live with ease. May all beings have their heart's desires met. May all beings flourish. May all beings be satisfied. May all beings be well.